Hello children, I hope you are keeping well at home and you are helping your parents during this time. Today I am going to teach you a chapter on how plants make food. How plants make food. Now imagine a world without plants. What would we eat? You might say rice, vegetables, fruits. Well, all of these things also come from plants. Now when we look at the world around us, we see it's all green. Why are leaves green? Leaves are green because of a pigment called chlorophyll, which gives them the color green. Now it is very interesting if you watch, if you observe a leaf very carefully. These leaves are also called as a kitchen of the plant. Now plants prepare food and all of the other living organisms are dependent on the plants for food. Well, the process by which plants prepare their food is known as photosynthesis. Now let me write this word for you. Photosynthesis. Thesis. The word photo means light, while the word synthesis means putting together. Well, if I were to ask you, how would you make tea? Yes, your answer would be water, tea leaves, sugar and milk. Now, let us see what are the ingredients that the plants use in this process called photosynthesis. Well, the plants use water which they get from the soil and plants use carbon dioxide from the air and they trap the energy from sunlight to prepare their food. Now, if we look at the sleeve which I showed you before, if you look at the sleeves very carefully we see these veins okay these are tubes which are referred to as veins now under this leaf there are small pores which are known as stomata well you cannot see stomata with our naked eye but we can see the veins with our naked eye and these veins are the ones which carry water to different parts of the plants. Well, after the food is being prepared, the food is transported to the different parts of the plant body through the veins and the stem. Some part of the food is changed to other substances for the purpose of growth, making flowers, fruits, seed and repairing damage. The rest of the food is also converted into starch and it is being stored in the fruits, the stems, the roots, the leaves and the seeds. Now plants and animals are dependent on each other. Animals take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide while plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Now when I told you that animals and plants depend on each other, you might think, well, how are we dependent on each other? In your previous classes, you would have learned about herbivores. Well, herbivores are animals which eat only plants, while carnivores are animals which eat those herbivorous animals, while omnivores eat both plants and other animals. In this way, my dear children, a balance is maintained in the environment and we are responsible to maintain this balance in nature and protect it so that the balance is not lost. Well, I would like you to complete the assignment that is on page 45 and page 46, assignment number A. B, C and D and I will help you out with those answers later on. 
Stay home, stay safe, do it for ourselves, do it for our family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home, yeah, come, yeah. Jai Hind.